Criminal psychologists and criminologists have always been interested in the victim selection process. And we talk about verbal cues and nonverbal cues. In 1981, Grayson Stein did a landmark study that looked at nonverbal cues. And they looked at how predatory individuals selected their victims just by looking at them walking. And they found out three things from this piece of research. They found that predatory individuals primarily selected victims who were walking with their heads down. So these were people who might not be looking around them, looking to the feet. Uh, and if we think about the use of mobile phones today, people looking at a mobile phone. It could signal a lack of awareness. It could also signal a lack of self, low self-esteem because people hang their head when they're not feeling great about themselves. They found a second thing, and that was an unnatural stride length to height. So we all have a natural stride length that we comfortably walk with. What they found was that when these offenders selected victims, they chose people who often walked with a stride length that was too long or a stride length that was a little too short. The third thing that they found was what they referred to as a lack of fluidity. So this was people who moved in a kind of rigid fashion. So it could be that their arms didn't swing with the opposite leg or something along those lines, or they were just stilted and held themselves in a kind of tense manner. So we don't know if these signals were conscious cues, subconscious cues, or were really just that these people were moving so differently to those around them that they naturally attracted the eyes of those people looking for a victim. So three ways we can avoid being targeted when we're out walking, walk upright, keep your eyes looking around, have a natural stride length to height, and have a fluidity to your movement.